Hi everyone and welcome back to this channel of crafting, crochet and knitting. My name is Nikki and I'm going to be giving you guys a progress update on the Christmas Sockathon. So this is where I have been making a pair of socks for everyone in our families for Christmas presents this year. Um, but first, how are you guys doing? What are you making? Please uh, leave pictures of what you're making in the comments down below. I love to see them. Um, I think that one of the best things about scrolling through what people are up to is that you can just totally get inspired and it puts a smile on my face and I think we all need that right now. Um, you know, we are still in lockdown, it still sucks. <laughs> so please, yeah, share your makes so everybody can get a bit of a smile today. So, on to the socks. So I've shown you previously the yarn I used for my mum's. I didn't show you the socks because they are wrapped, but I realized I should have a picture on screen and now. Yeah, so those are the West Yorkshire Spin Up Bullfinch. So they, that's how they worked up as a self-striping yarn. Um, and then I also showed you a pair using the yarn that I used for my mother-in-law's because hers were wrapped and as well as the pair I've made for my father-in-law and my nana's. So my nana's was made in something very similar to the pair that I've finished now. Ta-da! So these are also West Yorkshire spinners, but this is the English rose. So my nana's was delphinium, which was that purple one. Uh, and this is the English rose, which is the pastel pinks that I think my grandma will prefer because she wears a fair bit of pastel pink. And it's just, a, it's still, all of them are basic sock patterns. So with the rib cuff, a heel flap and turn gusset uh, and the main difference I do uh, from the pattern is that I've been editing up the toes the pattern decreases the toes evenly on each side but I have um, been decreasing more on one side than the other and in reverse on the other sh on the other sock um, just because I find that that fits the toes a little bit nicer but everyone's feet are different so you know bear that in mind <laughs> when you're making socks um, I haven't made much progress on the next pair, which I'm pretty sure are going to end up being my granddad's. So if you can remember when I spoke about the yarns I picked up, I had originally picked up this Opal Songbook Jazz for my dad, uh, but when it arrived it was a lot lighter than it looked on the website. So I thought I'll start knitting it up, see how it looks and then decide because I can just make them slightly longer if they're going to be for my granddad. Um, and yeah I've started knitting it up and I think even though it is nice and it has this nice sort of very reminiscent of outdoor sports like fishing that both my granddad and my dad do um, I just think that there's not anything in my dad's wardrobe that this will go with so I'm pretty sure these are going to end up being made for my granddad um, so yeah I got to the heel um, as I said in the previous video I'm taking my time with them now because um, I have had a few more twinges in my wrists I don't want to get repetitive strain um, when I'm trying to craft so I'm just taking my time these will probably get finished within a week and then I'll cast on the next pair um, and then yeah I'm getting close to the end now actually so I didn't need to panic I've still got my dad's to do and then my husband's grandpa um, his pair to do and I think that's everybody um, besides actually potentially you know making a pair for myself and my husband for Christmas <laughs> um, I think technically my husband's pair maybe is for Christmas but he's already wearing them so that's a bit of a cheat really um, yeah and that is the progress with the Christmas Sockathon but I'm not going to leave you there because that would be an incredibly short video I wanted to show you something that I did as a break um, between knitting socks um, it is on theme though don't worry Ta-da! <laughs> okay, so I'm going to hold them up over there. I've just realised that I'm wearing, like, the total wrong shirt to hold these boots up against. <laughs> so I'll hold them over here. Um, these are little baby boots. They are so, so soft. Um, the pa pattern that I used, I got from a video, so I'll link that in the description. But I did cut it short because I only had scraps to work with. This is Karen and Pantone yarn. And... They were a bit of a mixed bag when that came out because the colours are gorgeous, it's super soft yarn, but for something that's mostly acrylic, uh, acrylic the price tag was not so great. Um, and I got really lucky though, so <laughs> um, I found it all sort of on an offer, on an offer, so I got it super cheap and I picked up loads. Um, 
at the time but my problem is it's the yardage the yardage is really bad um so it took three skeins to make a small cushion um, and then these are scraps from a cow that I made and I actually had to split the yarn to make these so um I had uh, the, it's 10 ply uh, and I split it up into five ply and then I just had enough to make these and even so they don't have the cuff on them that the pattern has um, but they're still super cute and they're super soft and I have made the full pattern before um, so I'll put a picture on screen now and that I made those for my friend who <laughs> she gave birth during lockdown so she is amazing um, <laughs> and you can see how the pattern actually you have a lot more stitching and the cuff then folds over and it's super super cute so I'll definitely be using that pattern again and I have also knitted baby boots before um, if I can dig out photos of them, they'll be on screen now. And if I didn't dig out photos, there'll just be a really awkward pause in that part of the video. Um, so the, at the time, those were just straight needles. I only had straight needles. And in the really bright rainbow socks, if the picture was on screen, they're like you, you knit a T-shape and then you fold the T-shape down and sew them together to make the boots. So that's quite a simple way of doing it. Um, and then the other ones, I no, I have no idea <laughs> how I did those. I don't know where the pattern has gone. Uh, there must be a seam in it because I didn't have double pointed needles at the time. Um, if I find the pattern, I will put it, I will edit the description and put it in the description. Sorry to the designer of that pattern, um, but until I find it, I can't really do anything about that. Um, but since getting double pointed needles, I also have made some baby socks and I totally forgot to show you guys in that first video where I was running through the socks I'd made. But check out these little cute baby boots. They're so, they are so tiny. Just look at that, the size of my hand. <laughs> um, so this blue is actually the leftover scraps from that very first pair that I made. And this is about all that I had left to do those with. Um, and yeah, they are super, super cute. Um, and they're just, yeah, just, just a rib stitch and a little heel flap. Um, and just, I, I really enjoyed having something to do with my scraps. So I think w when I have 100 grams of yarn and I'm making about a size five, um, sort of four, five, six foot, I can get two pairs out of that if I'm doing sort of a shorter leg on those socks. Um, but otherwise you would just have so much yarn left over. Um, and the fact that if nothing else, you can get a little teeny tiny pair of baby boots, I think is really encouraging to just use scraps up. Um, so yeah, the, that's super adorable. But the pair that I'm even more impressed with are these. <laughs> these are so jazz-tastic. Look at that fluorescent yellow and icy blue right there. Um, these are actually 100% cotton. So all of the sock yarn I have previously shown you guys has been a 75%, 25% blend of wool to nylon. So you get like the coziness from the wool and you get strength and sort of sturdiness from the nylon. Um, but these are 100% cotton because I had lots of cotton lying around in sort of in multiple multiple colours um, that blend together and I just didn't know what I was going to do with them. Um, and I was less precious about this colour combination because when it's just on the ball it doesn't look that, <laughs> it doesn't look that nice. Um, but then when I knitted, uh, knitted these up I just love it. <laughs> So I really want to make more like this. And I just figure that like a baby is not running around like an adult. So the nylon isn't really necessary. And the cotton means you can wash it at a higher temperature. Um, so yeah, I, I like how these came out. I did not enjoy doing all this rib stitch. <laughs> I hate rib stitch so much. Um, but I think it worked out quite nicely. So yeah, definitely definitely onto a winner there as well. <laughs> um, I hope you like them. Uh, let me know which colourways you've liked the most so far out of the ones I've shown you for those socks. 
Um, you can find all sorts of sock yarn available um, in all sorts of colours. This is what I found recently and I'm pretty impressed with quite how much variety there is out there. Um, so yeah, that is it from me for today. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I hope you will tune in for future videos where I will talk about blankets and toys and other garments. Um, and again, please leave pictures of your makes in the comments down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.